fast. This video is to introduce you to drawing set organization. So there's something called the United, um, United States National CAD standards, and we use these standards to uh, label our drawings. So I want to show you an example. If we take a look at this drawing set here, you're going to notice in the title block that the there's different names and numbers to these sheets. So let me get over here. So you'll see over here on this title block, this sheet is named A0.1. This one's A1.1. And then if we scroll down through a little bit more, we're going to start to see sheets that have even different designations. This one says M1.1. Uh, this one says E1.1. And these are all E drawings. So this, these all mean different things. What it's indicating is the type of drawing um, that is being shown and who created the drawings. And this helps us locate information a little bit quicker in drawing sets. So let me explain. Go back to the CAD standards here. So we have a discipline designator, a sheet type designator, and a sheet sequence number in the, in the set. So the first thing that we saw was the discipline designator. So in some of the title blocks, we saw sheets that were named A, then we saw M, and we saw E. What this indicates, if it's an A sheet, was that it's an architectural sheet. So it was drawn by an architect or an architectural company. Um, mechanical indicates that a mechanical engineer was a person who created that drawing set. So now remember that when you're creating a drawing set for construction, there are many, many people working on that together as a group. So they may work in separate offices, but they collaborate and coordinate to make sure that all the information that is shown is correct. Um, we might also see S drawings, which are structural drawings, um, C for civil drawings. So remember that when you're looking at these and you see that designation in the beginning, A, you can know that's an architectural drawing. Now the second set to this um, is level two, which is going to be the sheet type designator. So now we have the letter first, and then we're going to have a number. So you're going to see that these numbers mean different things. So if we see something called a0.1, that's going to indicate that that's a general sheet that contains symbols, legends, notes, etc. So let's look. Over here, we have sheet A0.1, and you can see that on this sheet, there are a ton of general notes and supplemental notes to the person that's building the building. There's also an index of the drawings contained within. If we take a look at the next sheet, we're going to see A1.1. So if we go back to the CAD standards and we look at this, we know that A is for architectural and 1 means that it's a plan drawing. So if we take a look at this, yes, it is. It's the first floor plan. If we go to the next sheet, we're going to see it's called A1.2. So it's still a plan drawing. It's just the second drawing in the plan set. So this is another plan, and it's still a first floor plan. It's just enlarged. Okay. So I switched sheets. Uh, this is a different set of drawings, but I just want to show you the next example. So then now this drawing is labeled A201. So if we look back at the CAD standards here, we're going to see that when we see a drawing that has two as the designation, so that's the number designation. Remember the first is the letter, so A means architectural. Then the number two indicates that it's an elevation. So in that drawing that we just saw, those were elevation. So these are building elevations here. And then the same is true for structural drawings. So again, we see S1.1. So we know S means that it's a structural drawing. So it's showing all types of structural information. What's structural information? It's the foundation. It's the footing. It's the steel. It's any wood, posts, whatever, the bones that are holding up this building. So S is structural, and then we know 1 means that it's a plan. And then point 0.1 is just indicating that it's the first plan that we're seeing in the set. This is indeed the foundation plan. So I want to make you familiar with the CAD standards because you are required to name your residential drawing per these standards. And what's currently on the residential drawing um, is not labeled correctly. In your free green drawings, they are not labeled according to these standards. So you're going to need to look through this to make sure that you're labeling everything properly. And you want to make sure that these are all architectural sheets that you're creating. 
Um, but you want to make sure you're calling them A1 for plans, A2 for elevations, A3 for sections. And then remember it's point one for the first plan, point two for the second plan. Um, and you can see that listed here. It, it indicates you start off with one and then you go two and then three. So if you have questions on this, please contact me and ask me or sign on to a help session.